Howdy Sequest fans and welcome back to another episode. My name's Joey and today we're going to be learning about one of my most favorite topics, snakes. Today with me I have a really young type of king snake. In fact, check out the really sharp markings along the body of the animal. The rich red oranges, the sharp black and light yellow stripes. This snake is not trying to hide in its environment at all. In fact, it wants to be seen by other animals. This snake's markings bear a really strong resemblance to that of the venomous coral snakes found in similar uh, regions as this one. And because of that threat that it could be venomous, most other animals leave this snake alone. A venomous bite, even from a little snake, can be very, very dangerous. They just don't want to take that risk, which makes this king snake a really mellow-mannered snake in and of itself. Check a look at its uh, kind of small, blunted head there. Now they do have sharp little teeth and they uh, are predators, they hunt. Uh, typically with little guys, you know, really small insects as they get older, small mammals and maybe the occasional small bird. Uh, but these guys aren't venomous, there's no fangs in that mouth. And if you check it out, and, and this, both the size and sort of the, the, the shortness of that uh, head gives them a, a really good ability to burrow. These snakes are much, much more likely just to kind of hide out of harm's way rather than uh, be aggressive with it. These snakes do have eyes and have vision. It might be a little hard to see because in this snake, the eyes are kind of covered up with the uh, uh, black stripe. Uh, snakes don't have eyelids, so you're not gonna see them blink or anything, but you might see that little tongue come out every couple seconds or so, that forked tongue. Just like with so many uh, reptiles, they use it to smell. This is a pretty unique environment for this uh, snake. Now, king snakes come in all different types of patternings. It's genetic. Uh, now, this particular patterning, uh, the reds with the blacks and yellows, give it that coral uh, snake-like appearance, like I mentioned before, but in slightly different pattern order. Now, in North America, this is a, a pretty simple and fun little jingle to remember. You know, red touches black, like in this patterning. Red touches black, friend of Jack. It's going to be a friendly snake. You don't have to worry about it being inherently dangerous. But if red touches yellow, it can kill a fellow. And that's the common coral snake found in North America. I uh, underline North America because just like with lots of different snake genetics, these stripes can be a little bit different. In fact, this snake has unique stripes than its uh, kind of brother and sisters that we have here on site. I'll give you an example of that. Most of the stripes on this snake are going all the way around. You can see the belly here has uh, pretty much red and yellow and a full stripe. Right here, this uh, number two, doesn't quite have that. Let's see if we can show that here on the camera. You can see that yellow kind of connects, and that's called a saddle. And so that stripe, that marking sits on top of the snake, doesn't go all the way around. And different individual snakes can have different unique markings like that, but they all still follow, in this particular species, the same genetic structure of red and, and black colorations are always touching. The red's kind of a, a dot in the black large mark. Now there are all different types of king snakes. In fact, they range in size and coloration. You know, they get the name king snake from their ability to eat other snakes, including venomous ones. Now these particular type of king snakes, ones that are often seen with this mimicry patterning, now these are referred to as milk snakes most commonly. And milk snakes get their term from being found in barns. Now, milk snakes are found in all over the Americas, North, Central, South America and barns have that perfect habitat. It's dark, it's humid, it's got, uh, typically it's nice and warm, and lots of little critters for the snakes to eat. So when farmers would find them in with the cattle, they thought they were stealing the milk and really they were just taking advantage of a nice environment that was built for them. So not quite a milk drinking snake, but a milk snake nonetheless. And there's lots of different types of milk snakes. Uh, some have really wide bars and patterning. Some of them are really sharp and small depends on the type and the subspecies. And even this particular one is arguably its own species of snake, the Scarlet King Snake. Uh, but again, sharing that same semblance of mimicry, patterning of the king snakes. They all fall under the uh, genus Lampropeltis, which is stands for shield, light shields. Well, thank you all for watching today. Hopefully you learned a little bit about our king snake friend here. And be sure to check out a sequest near you where you can get hands-on experience with all kinds of animals, reptiles, mammals, birds, you name it because nothing's more exciting than holding an animal in your hand and learn about them at the same time. We'll see you next week. Take care.